Welcome to this life, Weekly Hope, Inspiration and Healing. It's going to be an amazing time together as I have a special guest as I have every week. And today it's just an amazing man of God with a very strong faith and faith for healing. So if you are sick tonight or today, whatever, when you are watching or where you are watching from, you are going to experience God's power because we have faith that, and we believe that everything is possible. So welcome to all of you who are watching from all around the world. Like I say all the time, I always enjoy to see where you are watching from. So if you can just put uh, your, uh, something on the chat saying from which country you're watching from or the city, that will be such a joy to welcome you. But for sure, tonight, we are going to see God's glory. Uh, before I introduce the guest speaker, I would love to read with you something I've read uh, yesterday morning, but I was thinking that the whole day, when I say yesterday morning, it's because I received that and I was meditating and it came back tonight when I was preparing for this show. This life is not, uh, this live stream is not about religion or about uh, denomination or neither about the church. It's really about the one who is alive, the one who created you and the one who loves you so much, and the one who is willing to touch you tonight. And this one is Jesus. And actually, I can read his word in this beautiful book called the Bible. Uh, it's an amazing book. Personally, I read it every day because uh, it's like fresh bread. It's like food, spiritual food. It's vitamin, it's energy, it's advice. But actually, it's God himself speaking to us and willing to speak to you. And one of the things I was meditating, it's this wonderful psalm written by the King David who was write, writing, with, was written that in Psalm 37, verse 6, he said, uh, verse 5, sorry, commit everything you do to the Lord, trust him and he will help you. Tonight, I encourage you to open yourself and to put your trust, to put your hope, to put your faith in this amazing God and he will help you. And that's the reason tonight in this verse, I want really to invite you right now to listen a beautiful song. It's like a gospel song. Um, it's a, a lady called Sinak who is going to interpret this beautiful song called The Name of Jesus. And uh, it's exactly about this precious Jesus that we want to talk because Jesus is alive and is willing to heal you tonight. So let's listen to this beautiful song. And why not to sing with Sinak? Uh, it will bring joy and it will bring heaven on the place where you are living. God bless you. Let's listen to this beautiful song. Let it go. 
Welcome back for the Life Weekly Hope and Healing. Tonight, I have a special guest that I will introduce you in a few minutes. But I want to welcome you, those who are watching from around the world. Like I've said just before, I will so much enjoy if you can write the country or where you are watching from. That will be such a joy to welcome you specifically and to see uh, where you are watching from. Uh, before that, uh, I want also to say, if you go to my website, jeanlucetraxel.org, you can register to receive freely the weekly hope inspiration. In the middle of the pandemic, uh, God spoke to me, said, Jean-Luc, I want to release hope to this generation, but I want you, and I want that you write it. And uh, I'm not a writer, but I obey, and I every week I'm just downloading from heaven something that God gives, something fresh, fresh revelation. It's like vitamin from heaven that will boost you, that will bring energy to you. It's short, but uh, full of power. So just go to uh, my website, jeanlucetraxel.org, and uh, register on you. I will send you every week this hope inspiration, which is a short meditation and uh, inspiration with a quote, but also healing testimonies as every day, almost every day, for sure, every week, I'm seeing amazing healings and miracles. And by the way, I want to say big thanks to all those who are writing us back to testify. Please go to our website or our email and send us your testimony. We want to hear what God has done for you. Um, thanks for those who are writing on the chat. I want to say welcome. I see many people from France. Let me just say that for the French people in French because they're asking why it's not in French. Uh, pour les francophones, ce soir, c'est la rencontre anglophone, uh, espoir et guérison en anglais. Uh, allez sur mes réseaux sociaux, vous trouvez toutes les informations. Entre autres, ce samedi, nous aurons la soirée Miracle et guérison le 11 septembre à 19h et ça sera traduit en français. Donc, allez sur les réseaux sociaux pour trouver toutes les informations. Sorry, my friends, I was just saying that because many people are watching from France and they were expecting that we speak French. But uh, welcome, Oliver, from Oklahoma in the US, Diana from Auckland, New Zealand. 
wonderful Yogita from South Africa. Bless you, Monica, from Germany. Evelyn from Chad. That's fantastic. I know many people are watching from Africa. Uh, God bless you. Jerry from Finland. Uh, Timu, oh, my friend Timu, that's so good to see you. I'm praying for you. I know revival will hit Finland and can't wait to come to your place. Um, bless you, Zara from Moscow, Russia, Lynette from Tennessee. I'm glad that the Swiss people, some of them are writing because I know many Swiss people are watching, but they are so quiet and they don't want to write. Please, this is the time for this uh, spiritual deconfinement to become bold and to become alive and that's one of the way you can write and to express yourself uh, so welcome oh simon from modena italy simon i was looking for you since since a long time i lost your contact please contact me i would love to contact you and to be in connection with you again amazing man from from modena italy God bless you, Lydia from Germany, Kyla from France. Uh, well, it's coming from different places. Tony from Nigeria, Daniel from London. God bless you, Nicole from Senegal, uh, Rebecca from France, and from different other countries. Al Aya from Latvia. God bless you, Marco from Denmark, Valentin from Nancy. Uh, Nancy, that was an amazing place. I had miracles healing service there. And we're going to come back in 2022 by God's will. And it's coming from other countries. Sweden, God bless you, Mira. Carmen from Malta. Well, we love the nations of the world because God loves the nations and he loves you. Tonight, it's my joy to introduce you a friend of mine, a powerful man who is moving in power for the to heal the sick. His name is Chris Gore. In addition to having a passion to seek the sick, healed Chris and his wife Liz have a burning desire to see all believers walk in the power and love of Jesus. It must be natural for every believer to walk in the supernatural power of the gospel. For too long, the church has walked in religion and powerlessness and preached a gospel of salvation. We are called to preach the gospel of the kingdom. As believers, we are all called to heal the sick and walk in the full inheritance that Jesus left for us. Chris is a pastor and is the supervisor of the healing ministries at Bethel Church, California. Let's welcome my very good friend, Chris Gore, from originally New Zealand, living now in Bethel, but going back soon in his own country. Chris Gore, welcome. Thank you, Jean-Luc. Thank you so much for having me. It's a blessing to be here. It's an honor to have you. I love you so much. You have been a blessing for my life, my family, but also our ministry. I miss you. I miss the time we spend together, even having some uh, healing conference together. But I know it will come back very soon. It's been it's been way too long. <laughs> That's true, Chris. Uh, you are living uh, in Bethel Church. And uh, you're in charge of healing ministry. So tonight we are going to pray for the sick because you have seen so many healings and actually you will share some of the testimonies. But before that, there are many people who are watching tonight. Like here in Switzerland, they are closing again and it's becoming more challenging with this COVID. Just this afternoon, they put a new law that will bring again some challenges for all of us. And there are it's these challenges all around the world, and many people are desperate. Do you have a word full of hope that you would love to release before going to pray for the sick? Yeah, you know, the, the COVID lockdown period, the season has not been easy for any of us. And, you know, I've been locked down in Reading here, mostly in Northern California for 18 months, like most of us are locked down in our own countries. And but, you know, the Lord reminded me in the early lockdown because on day three of the lockdown, I was really struggling and I felt like I didn't want to do day four. And um, I re just really prayed about it. And I said, God, why am I struggling so much? And he showed me a verse which is found in the book of Romans, chapter five. And it says, by one man's offense, uh, many became well, one. Sorry, by one man's act of disobedience, many became sinners. And by one man's act of obedience, uh, many become righteous and he just reminded me that it's not what i do that defines who i am 
but it's who he says that we are defines as to who we are. So it's not what I do wrong that defines what I, that I am, and it's not what I do right. And, and sometimes we become so busy in life that, you know, like I like busyness, I like being busy, but sometimes our busyness can become our identity. And I just feel like the Lord wants to remind you that we, you may not be in a busy season in your life, you may be in a lockdown season in your life, but that doesn't change what God thinks about you. You are still his son, you are still his daughter, he still loves you very much. That has not changed. And and just to not be in this works mentality of the things that you must do in order to be loved. He is a God of unconditional love. And here's my question to you. My question will be, how many conditions do you think there are to the unconditional love of our Heavenly Father? There are none. It's not about what you do. It is about who you are. Wow, thank you so much, Chris. That's very deep, and uh, we have to think about what you are sharing. Uh, by the way, I want to say a big welcome to all those who just tune in or join, join us on this weekly live stream, Hope and Healing. Every week I have a special guest today. I'm with Chris Gore, originally from New Zealand, and uh, it's such a blessing to have him. Chris, you were speaking about the Lord Many people who are watching, they are, don't know who is this Lord. Is it the Lord uh, from the UK or who is this Lord? Because uh, they are coming from different backgrounds and uh, they would love to know who is this Lord. <laughs> yeah, he is, the Lord is our Heavenly Father. And, you know, the Bible says in, uh, it says in Colossians, it says that he is the image, referring to Jesus, is the image of the invisible God. And in Hebrews 1, it says that, he is the exact representation of the Father. And I, I you know, I sometimes I don't like to refer to him as, as God. I, I, my personal preference is refer to him as Father. And he's a he's our loving Father. And he's and he is he is this caring, loving, healing father that just so deeply cares for each one of us, no matter what we're in and what we're going through, his heart is there for us and whether you're here tonight and you say well i don't believe in god my friend god still believes in you and you might be here and say well i don't even love god it's it's okay god loves you he dearly dearly loves you and that is the heart of our father that's a beautiful thing that you are sharing and i personally i believe that uh, but again some people who are watching from different religion they say well why jesus and why not somebody else uh, uh, some they are following from, from India, and I know also I've seen some people from Myanmar. Some they are Buddhists, Hinduists, or Muslim, and they say, why Jesus? Yeah, Jesus, you know, Jesus is the living God. And it also, the Bible also says that the only way to the Father is through Jesus. And, uh, you know, he is this loving, caring Father. And I've seen the realities, on luke of Jesus living in my life of of his provision, of his healing touch, of the way that he uses me. And I just love to be able to communicate with the living Father. We're not talking about, we're not talking about a God that's dead. We're talking about a God who is, who is very much alive. And he wants this personal relationship with each one of us. He wants to talk to you like, like, a, 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 like a loving father would to his son or his daughter. And likewise, he wants our love, he wants our uh, to be, us to be able to talk back to him and enter into this relationship. And I, I think that John Luke sometimes that, that people, you know, they, they put God in the religion box and I, it's not a box that I put God in. He's not, it's not this religion thing. It's not about coming to a church and having to do the right things. It's about coming into a relationship with this, with this caring, loving father. And like I've already said, the Bible says that the way to the father is through Jesus and that he, Jesus, is the exact representation of the Father. So when you've seen, if you want to know what the Father's like, our Heavenly Father, you look at the person of Jesus. And we see in the person of Jesus the, the, the care and the tenderness that he had towards people. Everybody that came to him without exception was healed. That's, that's my Father. That's the Father that, that I adore, that I love, and that's the Father that loves me. Thank you so much, Chris, for sharing that. It seems that uh, uh, you know him very good personally. 
Have you been a Christian your whole life? Yeah. And look, I was, I was raised in uh, raised in New Zealand uh, in a Christian in a Christian family. And you know, Christianity doesn't necessarily mean you have an easy life, but it does mean that you've got someone that can support you. And uh, so, you know, I've had my I've had my ups and downs, but I was raised in a Christian family uh, in the lower North Island of New Zealand. Moved to Auckland, and then 16 years ago, uh, we moved here as a family uh, to Northern California. Uh, but like you say, we are in the process of uh, moving back to New Zealand. And I saw somebody in the comments there wrote that uh, pray for the Auckland lockdown. Trust me, I am praying for the Auckland lockdown because I need to be able to get back. And uh, so I need that lockdown as lifted as much as you do. Wow. So we will pray for that as well. Uh, Chris, before we pray for the people, I have a question. You are a pastor. Why didn't you join your rugby team, the All Blacks, and instead of having such a fun life and winning the rugby things, you become a pastor? Well, I'm pleased that you know about rugby, John Luke. You impressed me. <laughs> <laughs> and the New Zealand All Blacks, I have to admit, are the greatest team in the world. Sorry to my British friends that are watching, but I am a New Zealand All Blacks fan. You know, I think that in life is that, you know, as as a believer in Jesus is that we have a destiny and our destiny our destiny is heaven you know as people that know Jesus when we pass on from this world we go into the arms of a loving father and uh, that's what the bible says um but yet that's I, i think sometimes we we miss the the difference between the destiny and the assignment and our assignment is different from our destiny our destiny is is that we're going to heaven But our assignment is to bring heaven. And uh, so I just love to see people uh, set free and enjoying life and enjoying Jesus. And uh, I'm, so as a healing minister, I just love to see people healed. And that's what I'm really after. That's my expression of our loving Father is to see, to see people healed. So, yes, I still love rugby, but I can assure you something. I love Jesus a whole lot more than I love the New Zealand All Blacks. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much, Chris. Uh, friends, those who are just joining, welcome to this live weekly hope and healing. Today, I'm with my very good friend, Chris Gore, who have a strong healing ministry. We are going to pray very soon for those who are sick physically, but also mentally and spiritually. Uh, so that's the reason I would love to invite you, my friends, uh, to take your iPhone or your cell phone and to go to the Facebook and to share this life. Uh, the gospel, the good news is not for ourselves, is to share it. So be sure to share the post, to share this life, that your friends, your family who are sick, they can hear the good news and they can experience God's power. Do it right now. You just go to the live on my uh, the channel you are watching. Maybe you're on the Facebook of Jean-Luc Traxel Ministry or IHM and you just share it. The same for those who are watching with YouTube. Just paste, put the link and share it to WhatsApp or whatever the things you are using. Send it to your friends. We have seen, I say that, not because we want to have more people watching, but just because we know that God is willing to touch many people tonight. And by doing that, we have seen all the time so many people getting healed uh, just before uh, the break, because we just uh, started uh, the last week. So just before the break, it was a lady who did what I was just saying now. She put, uh, she, she copied the link of YouTube. She sent it to a friend who had a growth like a watermelon. And when we pray, instantly the growth disappeared. Tonight, we are going to see miracles. That's the reason. Please share this good news to the friends. But right now, we want to pray uh, for the greatest miracle. And this greatest miracle is what Chris shared. It's about people who turn their trust, they put their face upon Jesus only. And I would love to ask Chris to pray for you and all those who never gave their life to Jesus. You are coming maybe from a different background, different religion. That doesn't matter. God, like Chris told, he loves you so much. Jesus loves you so much. And tonight is willing to save you. If you put your faith, your trust in him, you repent of your sin, 
and you call upon his, his name, tonight you will be saved. Chris, would you agree to help maybe these people who are watching, uh, who don't know about Jesus, but they feel and they know they need Jesus, or, or they are looking for the way, and tonight they say, well, you say that Jesus is the way, I will try that and I will ask him to save me. Uh, some they want to repent of their sin. Uh, can you maybe help them practically by doing a prayers and they can maybe repeat just to help them to experience this greatest miracle to be born again? Yeah, I would, I would love to. You know, in, in the Bible, in the book of uh, Luke, there's a wonderful story. You can go and dig a Bible out and read it yourself, but there's a wonderful story and it's the story of the prodigal son. And the son is away. He's out of relationship with the father. And he comes to his senses and he comes back to the father. And the father, the, the Bible tells us that the father ran to meet the son, to embrace the son. And but before he get he kisses, he kisses the son and the and he uh, receives the son and he loves the son. And then the father, uh, I'm sorry, and then the son repents. And I, I want to tell you is that it's the goodness of God that brings people to repentance it's not our repentance that brings the goodness of God. The Father loves you just as you are, and he wants you to come to him just as you are. You don't come to him cleaned up. You come to him to get cleaned up. And uh, so I would love to pray for you. If you're watching, I can see many comments from different places of the world. And if you are here and you say, I need that Father. I need that Jesus. I need Jesus in my life. I need to put my trust in him that I am having a hard time, I need Jesus, please just put in the comments, I need Jesus. And I would love to, I would love to pray for you. I want to introduce you. I'm not talking about joining a church. I'm talking about coming into a relationship with a loving father that loves you. So if that is you, I want to pray with you. Maybe you can just pray with, uh, pray with me out loud. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are a loving father. And Lord, we pray Lord, for those people tonight that will come and that they would say, I need Jesus. I need Jesus in my life. Lord, I pray. I pray for Rita right now. She where she's declared, I need Jesus. Father, I pray, God, that you would fill her with your spirit, Father, that you'd fill her. Father, we just ask right now that as she gives her life to you, that, that she, your word says that she just became a brand new creation in Christ Jesus. So, God, we bless every single person that would say, I need Jesus. Father, the blessings and the love of the Father would be poured out upon them. Father, we thank you, God, that your word declares that you are the forgiver and that you are the redeemer. So, God, we bless these people right now in Jesus' name. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I pray, Lord God, for all those who are watching, willing to give their life to Jesus that right now the power of the Holy Spirit may come upon them and they can receive this salvation. My friend, as you repent of your sin, just say, I repent of everything I've done and call now upon this name of Jesus. Say, Jesus, save my life. I need you, Jesus. Like Chris said, as you are saying that right now, something supernatural is just happening over you. Receive this forgiveness of your sin, receive the peace of God, the real joy of this Holy Spirit, receive the presence of God. I pray, Lord God, that all these precious people, they can experience right now the greatest miracle, meaning to be born again, to become a child of God, a son of God, a daughter of God. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. And as you are calling upon the name of Jesus, asking him to save you, I take authority over every demonic spirit, every demon's evil spirit. I command you to leave the body of these people, to leave the, this person who call upon the name of Jesus. I set you free that you can live this free dumb, this life, this free life with Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be free from every darkness, every curses. In Jesus' name, I bless you and I release God's presence over you and your family in Jesus' name. 
If you've done this prayer, if you need really Jesus and you are willing that, uh, I invite you to go to our website, healing-ministries.org, uh, and go to the, the place to know Jesus. And there we want to send you a small booklet. It translates it in many languages, but in, in English, of course. And uh, it just explain you uh, what you have done and this prayer you have done, but more, we want to help you to grow with Jesus, to become a disciple of Jesus. Uh, so go there and you can receive it. We will send it to you for free. Also, uh, be sure to find a Bible. The good news is today it's easy to find a Bible. Even with the internet, uh, you go just to Bible.com and you can download it. Uh, read it. The Bible, it's fantastic. It's God's word. Is willing to speak to you. God is not dead. He's willing to talk to you every day to give you advice as a parent, as a businessman, as a student, as you are looking for the future to know what you have to do or to take some decision. Read the Bible and you will find the answer. Finally, I invite you to find a local community. Uh, there are many churches around the world. I prefer to call communities, Christian communities, uh, because people say when we speak about church, it's like a religion. I'm not speaking about that. Even church is very good. But really, Christian communities, it could be a Catholic communities or Protestant, doesn't matter, a place where they confess and they proclaim Jesus alive and they love the Word of God, they love the Holy Spirit. And it's so important that you find some brethren that you can grow with them in faith. And finally, I invite you to go to alpha.org. It's an amazing tool that has been released, not by one church, but by many churches, including the Anglican, the Protestant, the Catholic, the Evangelical. They came together not to bring the people to their own church, but really to help you to grow and to become a disciple of Jesus. So go over there and you will find there is a short, small, not complicated, very easy course called Alpha Course, and it's done all around the world in every languages. You can do it face to face or online. Uh, you will see it will help you a lot. Thank you so much for doing that. Please write to the chat, contact us. We want to help you. If you gave your life to Jesus, we have a prayer line uh, where we have people who are expecting, awaiting you uh, to pray for you, not only for your spirit, but also for your body. Uh, it's people from walking in the unity of the Christianity and uh, they are being trained and equipped to pray for you so you can send your prayer requests. If you write and you let your physical addresses, we will send you an anchor shift. We did that since the pandemic uh, because we cannot come to your place. We don't have any more face-to-face -face meetings. It will come back. But we decided to do what the first apostle they did, uh, the anchor shift who touched the apostle, they healed the sick. So it's not a magical thing. It's just a point of contact between your need, our faith, and God's power. And we have seen amazing healings. So just write us or call us. Just be sure to be in contact with us. Chris, now is the time to pray for the sick. We see already many people who are writing that, but it's so beautiful that uh, people are writing, I need Jesus, so I give my life to Jesus, uh, or different comments. That's beautiful that you write that. But right now we want to pray for the sick and especially for physical healing. What would be your advice for the people who are sick and need a healing tonight? You know, my, my advice would be this, is there's two stories in the Bible where Jesus says, I've not seen such great faith. And one of them is the Roman centurion. And the other one is the uh, Syrophoenician woman uh, where he says, I've not seen such uh, great faith. And the, there's a common denominator between those two stories. And the common denominator between those two stories is that neither of those, uh, neither of those people were Jews. They're both Gentiles. And the, the point I'm trying to make is that you don't behave yourself into a miracle. Maybe they had not seen such great faith because they didn't know the law, you know, because the Gentiles didn't know the law versus the Jews. And we don't behave ourselves into a miracle. And my advice to you is that if you are here this afternoon, this morning, whatever time zone you're in, and you're needing a miracle, 
this is about Jesus. This is about what he has paid for. And your situation and you personally are not a special exemption to Jesus. You have been paid for at the cross. Your miracle has been paid for. Your salvation, your life has been paid for. Your sins have been paid for at the cross. And you might be sitting there, well, I'm just a special exemption. My friend, you're not a special exemption. You have been paid for by the blood of Jesus. This is not about your performance. This is about the love of our Heavenly Father that just desires to heal each and every one of us. Fantastic, Chris. And that's for you, friends who are watching. Welcome for those who are just tuning, tuning in to this live weekly hope and healing every week. Uh, I have this uh, live stream with one of the guest speakers. Today I'm with Chris Gore from New Zealand. He is full of the power to heal the sick in Jesus' name. And in a few minutes, we are going to start to pray for you. Uh, I want to invite you to be part this Saturday evening, the 11th September at 7 p.m. Swiss time. We're going to have a global miracles and healing service. Uh, it's translated in 10 different languages, including Hindi, Arabic, French. Uh, of course, it will be in English as well and more Italian. Uh, so be sure to connect and to join us. And before this healing service, uh, we have the annual Impulse Healing Day. It's a free uh, subscription. Uh, we're going to share about healing. We're going to have a prophet. Those who don't know who is what's a prophet, you will experience it. It's just amazing. And uh, also, personally, I will share things about this healing movement. Uh, but you need to register to have all the link and all the connection. So go to healing-ministries.org. Chris, we are going to pray for the sick because so many are waiting for that. But do you have one or two powerful testimonies, uh, recent testimonies? Yeah, one of, one of my favorite testimonies was uh, while in Malaysia. This is just directly before uh, COVID. Uh, the lady had a uh, lady had been uh, to the medical uh, the doctor and her intestines were rotten and she didn't have very long to live she had a matter of weeks to live and uh, she was ministered to on a friday night she went back to the doctor on a monday uh, to find that she had brand new intestines she had descending uh, colon tumors and uh, they were all gone i've got the internal photos of the before and the internal photos of after after and uh, she has now uh, brand new uh, intestines in her in her body. Uh, we've also just recently, over the last several years, we've seen a number of people, uh, children now healed from uh, autism, uh, which has just been 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 incredible. And uh, but regardless of the condition that you face today, I tell you, the Lord wants to heal you. It is His desire. It is His will. He wants to heal you. It is by his obedience that you can be healed. So I would just, I would love to pray for you. Please, Chris, that will be wonderful. Also, friends, why don't you write on the chat your specific expectation or your prayer request so we can be specific to pray. And Chris, I'll let you start. I will follow also. And for now, the next 10 minutes, we will pray for the sick, expecting great miracles. Yeah, thank you. Just join with me, John Luke, and yeah, I'm seeing many. I'm seeing many prayer requests come through here of different things. So first, I mean, I just want to pray. Uh, the, I I think the pressing thing right now on most people's lives is just this COVID situation, and I know that many of you are, are watching, and I have my own friends that have got issues going on with COVID, and I just so Father, we just declare your healing grace right now into people's bodies right across this earth. Father, we just speak your healing grace to people that are suffering with COVID symptoms. Lord, we call an end to that right now. Father, we just speak life. We speak resurrection life into lungs, Father, into throats, into sinuses, Father, into body pains. Father, we just call that thing to an end. Father, we just, we just declare that COVID will be dealt with and we speak health and we speak wholeness upon the people that you love. Father, we bless them in Jesus' name. Bless them. I, see, I actually see I see a picture of someone who's uh, who's in, in hospital. You are um, on uh, like on ventilation. And Lord, we just we just say life right now. 
I've just had a friend. I've just had a friend uh, maybe maybe eight days ago. He was given a death sentence from COVID. The doctor said there's nothing they can do. And within four days, he was just uh, just uh, dismissed from hospital and uh, doing doing great. He is no he is no longer dying. He is living. So God, we just declare your healing grace. Father, let your healing grace flow into those hospital rooms, flow into those bedrooms right now. Wherever people are suffering with these COVID symptoms, we call them to an end. We call it to an end in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We pray for Sonnet from South Africa, who is asking to pray for the son and his family struggling with these severe COVID symptoms. As a Chris pray for these people suffering from COVID, we come in agreement and we release this healing and anointing over your son, over your family in South Africa, all those who are struggling with this terrible sickness. I pray also for those who suffered from this sickness and still have some, uh, they lost their taste or they, they're smelling or you have trouble with their, your breath. Right now, we release the power of the Holy Spirit to restore your body, to restore your immune system, your lungs, to restore your breath system. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Chris, I let you flow again. Yeah, this uh, I saw before I came on to this podcast. I uh, I had something that was on my heart, and then I saw somebody put it into the into the comments about wanting to have a baby. If you're wanting to have a baby and you can't conceive, would you just write in the comments, I I, I need a I want a baby. Would you just put that in there so I know who I'm I'm praying for? Uh, but I saw a comment earlier of somebody saying that they wanted a baby. So God, we just declare your grace and your healing. Father, I just speak the peace of heaven and the shalom of heaven will flow into these bodies right now. Father, we thank you, Lord, that your word declares, that your word declares, you say, go forward and multiply. So God, we just speak, to, we speak to Sarah right now. We speak to Lois right now. We speak to uh, Evelyn right now. Father, we declare that your babies are your idea, that babies are your idea. So, God, we just speak the healing grace of our Father upon these precious ladies right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Yeah, and for Lynette, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, for, thank you. Yeah, I just, I there's also, um, I feel... I just felt really strong about wanting to pray for people that are suffering with, with arthritis. And mm. I see it can come in obviously many forms in your hands, neck, feet, you know, whatever, many of those areas. So God, we just, we just speak your healing grace right now. We just command that spirit of arthritis off bodies right now. Father, that the release of heaven would come upon them. Father, those hands would be loosed. Father, those necks would be loosed. Lord, even where there's uh, pinched nerves, that the pinched nerves would be would be released. Lord, I just pray for spines where there's arthritis in the spine or scoliosis in the spine. We just declare over you the Bible in uh, um, Isaiah 40 verse 4. It says that the crooked ways shall be made straight. So God, we just declare your healing and that, that there'll be just a straightness upon those spines right now in Jesus' name upon those spines and all arthritis would lift father we thank you we thank you thank you um, um marco i just uh the concussion but you know the word uh the word shalom in hebrew means the spirit that destroys chaos so god for marco right now we just speak your healing grace to that concussion father we speak peace father the chaos that's going on in that brain would just be destroyed and that your peace would come Father, we just release your grace right now, right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank I you. pray for Simon's wife who has this right shoulder and thyroid disease. Yeah. Simon, I love you so much. As I said before, I would love to be in touch again. I really honor you and I pray since years for your region. But right now, I want to pray for your wife with Chris with great, with faith, unshakable faith. In Jesus' name, I take authority over the spirit of sickness who is touching your wife. I command this shoulder to be healed right now. 
I command all the muscles, all the bones, all the articulation to be touched right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I remove this thyroid disease through the stripes of Jesus. There is healing for your wife right now in Jesus' name. I pray for Judy who has this healing, who has this cancer. I pray, Lord God, remove every metastase, every cell's cancer in the name of Jesus. We pray for Nana who has this lump in the throat. Be healed in Jesus' name. Uh, Pharaoh is asking, Jean-Luc, please heal for both shoulders. Uh, I'm not the healer. Jesus is the healer. But the good news is I've seen so many people getting healed from shoulders. So right now, as you put your hands on your shoulders, I release this power. Yes. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every inflammation, every side effect or effect from a an accident, uh, I set you free from every spirit of sickness. Be yeah. free from every pain. And right now, exercise this gift that God gave me to perform miracles. I put back the nerves. I put back the bones in the right place. What has been destroyed by an accident, I recreate it through the hand of Jesus and his power. Receive this miracle right now. In Jesus' name, every pain disappear. Uh, from, I don't know the name in English, uh, even in French, uh, but the top of the uh, clavicle, right now something is just recreating. It's a creative power. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Uh, I release it. Start to move. Start to do things that you are not able to do. Chris? Uh, yeah. There's, uh, there's, uh, I didn't see this in the comments, but I, it's just something that was impressed upon me. Uh, but there's people that have got ringing in your ears uh, or you're suffering from deafness. And God, we just silence that thing. We silence that ringing right now. And Lord, we just declare your grace and your healing would be upon them. Father, we speak to deaf ears and I just command those ears to open. I command those ears to open and come into the order of the way that you created them to be. I just command deafness of people's bodies and I speak healing, healing, healing grace right now. Let that ringing in those ears stop right now. Yeah, for uh, Tanya Price, Father, that tenderness in the ear, we speak and uh, clad. Father, we just speak your healing grace right now. Ringing, I command you to stop. I command you to stop. Thank you, Father. We pray for Gunta. Command to your veins to be healed in the name of Jesus. We pray for Sandy, who is asking prayer for Jono, who is diagnosed with bowel cancer. We break the power of the cancer in Jesus' name. I call the name of Jesus and I break this sickness and I Take the benefits coming from the cross and I release over Jono right now in Jesus' name. Uh, Lydia, be healed from CFS and other disease. Be free from the spirit of sickness and be healed of Jesus' name. And many people have writing who are suffering from COVID. Like we prayed already, receive your healing in Jesus' name. Yes. Receive the peace also because behind the sickness, this COVID, there is a spirit of fear. And that's not coming from the Lord. We release the peace of God, including his healing presence. In Jesus' name, Sandy, be healed from the COVID. In Jesus' name, Jody and David, be healed from COVID. I pray, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Chris, do you still yeah, have yeah. things? Yeah. There's, uh, I, I saw um, as people that have recovered from, is there anybody here that's recovered from COVID? Uh, but you still have the loss of smell. Right? This loss of smell is still to be recovered. Can you just put put something in the uh, in the ch in the chat there? If you've lost your smell, you've recovered from COVID, but you've still lost your smell. So, Father, we just speak. We just speak to the senses of the nose right now, and we just say, "Be opened right now in Jesus' name." There'll be a full and complete restoration, Father, to to the to the senses of the nose. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 
I pray for you, Shoshana, for your brother-in-laws who have this life dangerous cancer. I yeah, release yeah. the healing power, the resurrection power over your brother-in-law. Yes, Not only yes. over your brother-in-law, but all over your family, over your house. I release this resurrection power in the name of Jesus. I pray for Luke who needs a miracle to have a visa. Lord God, you see all these people who are watching, we need different kind of miracles. So we just ask you, Lord God, please give a visa to the people who are writing, give a job for those who lost their job, provide for their finances. Yeah. Holy Spirit, we pray that you can come in power and manifest Jesus as the provider, as the answer in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for Nana, for who has her daughter, who has this eyes trouble, touch Andrea, who needs and wants a baby, like Chris, pr pray for that. Uh, go to my social media, as friends. Uh, every week, I'm posting some testimonies. Uh, this week, I just post a, a testimony of somebody who just received a baby. We pray. Ex almost nine months later, she got the baby. So it will happen to you. Chris, yeah. do you still have a last impression or things for the sick people that as we arrive at the end? Yeah, um, you know, you know, I've already touched on this, but you know, your your condition is not a special exemption. So what whatever it is, you you may be here, and we haven't called your word out. We haven't called something out that you're dealing with, and you're like, oh, they haven't called out my thing. They haven't mentioned my thing. Why don't you just put your hand on your body part that you're sick? And we're both going to pray that that thing would that thing would just dissipate, that sickness would leave. And I want to tell you something. God never sent sickness to teach you a lesson. He sent Jesus Christ to teach sickness a lesson. So no matter what it is that you're facing, Lyme's disease, uh, glaucoma, whatever it is, anything that we haven't even called out, cancer, whatever it is, put your hand on your body right now and we'll pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you that the cross paid for it all, that the cross paid for it all, that it is not one condition here that you're taken by surprise on. There is not one condition here that is a special exemption, but you have paid for it all. So God, we just declare your healing grace will begin to flow into people's bodies right now. Father, I just command all sickness, I command disease off people, and we just, with shouts of grace, we shout grace grace, grace. Father, these conditions, these diseases, these pains, these aches would begin to dissipate and would come into an alignment with the way that you created us to be. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. And I invite you, my friends, now to start to move. It's as important as the prayers. Start to do things that you were not able to do. If you couldn't move your shoulder or your knees or whatever, start to do. Check where the growth was. Uh, things are starting to disappear in Jesus' name. Start to check your ears, your eyes, and uh, start to give God's glory. Because I know many people have been healed and it's so important that you share your testimonies to your friends, your family, but also write us back. Uh, it will encourage us, but most important, uh, it will give courage and faith to others who are suffering from the same sickness, expecting the healing that you just get it. Uh, so please write us back, share your testimony. I just uh, read now that uh, Simon is writing my wife's shoulder is getting much better and she moves yeah. it more than this afternoon. That's fantastic. Thanks so much, Simon, uh, for sharing this testimony. I want to tell you, really, I said that publicly, God is my witness since a year. I, God spoke to me, I will not say daily, but I see a um, healing revival coming in Italy. So, uh, Simon, I'm ready to come in Modena as soon as possible. We're going to have healing service in your beautiful city, Many people will give their life to Jesus, and not only in Modena, in different places in Italy and around the world. Chris, we have to close because we arrive at the end. Do you have a last word full of hope for all the nations of the world, and especially the people of the world? Yeah, I mean, my, my you know, I woke up this morning. Uh, I had a harder day yesterday, and I woke up this morning with just the thought on my heart of being possessed with a promise. And I just want to encourage you that no matter what you're going through, 
keep your eyes on Jesus. This season, this season will shift, things will move, and this is just this is a temporary situation, and that things are going to get better. But in the meantime, we're the ones that need to keep our eyes on Jesus. So lift your eyes, get them off Jesus. Let's get them off our problems. There's lots of problems around, but let's lift our eyes and keep them on Jesus. The Bible says that He's the author and the perfecter of faith. So let's look to Jesus. Uh, this morning and i just want to bless you and be encouraged and be made whole thank you for having me thank you so much chris for this beautiful word full of hope thanks also for being with us we love you so much and That's friends uh, we invite you to stay connect with us go be sure to go to my website jolluctraxel.org and to register to receive the free weekly hope inspiration also uh, register for Saturday for the, the annual Impulse Healing Day. There is many great things to happen. And has Chris just pray uh, for this coming season and the new thing that's coming? I prophesy, I record that on YouTube, on my brand new YouTube channel called Prepare Yourself. I know that we are about to experience something powerful. And it's going to start with a fresh breeze from God. So if you be sure to go, the title is Prepare Yourself on my YouTube channel. You will be blessed, but mainly it will help you to position yourself to receive what the Lord is willing to do through your life and in your life. May the Lord bless you. Uh, we will finish with a beautiful song, but I want tonight to invite you to be generous. I want to say thank you for all those who support our ministry uh, by becoming a monthly covenant partner, giving some money every month. That's allow us to do these different things for free. Uh, also, we start again the face-to-face -face meetings. Uh, like next week, I will go in Paris, then in the Netherlands, I will go in Dubai. So things are starting again, slowly but surely. And only through your generosity, we can do that. But tonight, I invite you to be generous toward my friend Chris Gore. Everything that you're going to give tonight, we are going to send him and to bless him and to honor his ministry. So I invite you to be generous. Uh, only through your help, Chris will be able to go back to New Zealand and to do his ministry. And we want really to bless him. So please uh, open your wallet or your credit card and go to the information on healing-ministries.org slash donation, or you can just go to the QR code and everything that you're going to give tonight, we are going to send it to Chris Gore. So thanks again so much, friends, for being with us every week. Next week, I will be, uh, actually, it's Saturday evening. It's going to be these miracles and healing services uh, and I don't know the next, uh, oh yes, it's uh, Wednesday, September the 22nd. I'm going to be with the English uh, uh, Hope and Healing with Denis Goulet from Las Vegas. But you can find all the information on the website or the social media. So Chris, again, thanks so much. Greetings to your wife, your family, and my friends in Bethel. We are praying that this fire may stop over there and that the real fire may come, the fire of the Holy Spirit, yeah. and hope to see you very soon. Love you and miss you. Love you very much. Bless you, friends. See you very soon. God bless you. And let's finish with this beautiful song from Lindy Conant. God bless you.